Hi, I'm Tara for HealingCrystals.com. Hi, I'm Lourdes from HealingCrystals.com. Welcome to our summer movie edition of, <laughs> of Healing Crystals. <laughs> we're very excited because Tara and I were talking about yes. the movies yes. and we realized we both had different takes on the exact same movie. Exactly. You know, it's, it's summertime, obviously, and that's when all the big blockbuster movies come mm -hmm. out. And they're a lot of fun to go see. I, you yes. know, I personally just love a movie with a lot of explosions and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's exciting and I think that's what going in the movies is all about but I also find that I, there's always a lesson to be learned there, there's something that is there for everybody something that that all of us could relate to in different characters in movies in different situations in movies so we were talking about one of our favorite movies this summer is the Avengers mm -hmm. we loved it yes it was it's a wonderful movie and if you haven't seen it highly recommend it it was, mm -hmm. it was just just a wonderful movie that had a good story and it was a lot of fun but um, we were talking about, and I was saying about, uh, one of my favorite characters in the movie is the Hulk. And, you know, at the, the Hulk really transforms throughout the movie. At, at, and not just like into a big green Hulk. I'm talking like mm -hmm. emotionally transforms. Mm -hmm. um, at the beginning of the movie, you, you have a man who has this, this terrible burden, this thing that he hates about himself. And he's spending all of his time and his energy on getting rid of it. He, he, he just wants to not be the Hulk. That's all there is to it. He just doesn't want to do it. But by the end of the movie, you find that he's learned to embrace this side of himself, mm -hmm. this, this, this dark, horrible side of himself that he hates. He's learned how to embrace it and control it and use it for good. And I really feel like the lesson there for, for a lot of us is we, we all spend a lot of time, there's, there's always a part of yourself that you don't like. Mm -hmm. And what you try to do is you try to get rid of that. You know, we, we offer suggestions of crystals mm -hmm. that will help you release and, you know, get rid of these feelings and these urges or whatever they are. But sometimes it might serve us better to embrace these things and find a way to use them for good. So, um, you know, I thought that some of the some crystals that that could help you with that kind of thing that would have worked well for the Hulk, um, you know, a Botswana agate is a wonderful um crystal to help you find solutions mm -hmm. to problems. Um, a clear quartz is very good to give you clarity and power when you need it. A labradorite is very transformative, mm -hmm. um, very good, and, and it also relieves insecurities, which is, is very good whenever you're battling any internal conflict. Um, and finally, red coral. Red coral um, helps you accept yourself. And I think it helps you align yourself with the intent of the universe. And I think whenever, you know, you've got something about yourself you don't like, that's very important. Understand why it's there. And, you know, the, you know, the red coral can help you understand it and use it for good. And I had a totally different take. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Tony Stark is so ungrounded that he needed iron. Yeah. <laughs> I, so that's why, therefore, we have Iron Man. Let's face it, he's a millionaire playboy. He's, you know, brilliant. So he's in his head or he's having fun, but he's not grounded. See, and that's interesting. So so there you have a character who, who has, like, almost the opposite of himself. is Because, you know, when he's ungrounded, he's really not that great of a guy. No. But the opposite of, of himself is, is, is really a good guy that goes out and helps people. And, you know, they, they're kind of balancing each other. It's true. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you see the red and the gold. Yep. To me, he needed hematite. Yeah. Uh, iron. iron. I, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Hematite. That's what he needed for grounding. Right, right. And when I saw Black Widow, what mm -hmm. I liked about Black Widow is her ability to not only transform, but to be able to hide, go under the wire, be incognito. Right. And for that, Smoky Quartz. Yep. I love Smoky mm -hmm. Quartz for being able to lay low, be quiet, slink under things. Mm -hmm. That to me was terrific. Uh, for Hawkeye, I liked my Tiger's Eye. Excuse me one second. Where are my Tiger's Eye? <laughs> Here they yeah, are. I've got okay. I, I just kept thinking of an animal, of mm. the ability, their extra sensory perception yes. when it comes to using their instinct, Connection their, with, their with third their eye. Mm -hmm. So it would be. You know, the blue tiger's eye for that third eye. Right. The red tiger's eye for that connection to the earth. Mm -hmm. He was very grounded. What, yeah. You know, it didn't matter what he was doing. He could aim and he could fire. Uh, for Thor, I just kept thinking... He needed people skills in the first movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, okay, you need major people skills. Communication. So I like Blue Lace Agate mm -hmm. for that. He it really is. could have used it. And that, to me, personified what he needed. Mm -hmm. Now, with the Hulk, 
he, he's so funny because he really needed balance yes, more than he anything did. Yes, else. Yes, he did. He was out of balance. He was <laughs> totally out of balance. And usually if I'm looking for balance, I like to use the blue crystals. Uh, do you have blue calcite by any chance? Honey? I do. Yes, here we go. Okay, blue I like calcite. blue calcite, mm -hmm. blue lace agate because they seem Those to bring nice. that sense of calm that you need. Yeah. So these were the ones I thought of when I thought of Good him. Hulk. Don't forget Captain America. Captain America. Yeah. Right about the blue. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say anything else. You know, you have the garnet, mm -hmm. you have moonstone or selenite, you Lapis. have Iolite, mm -hmm. lapis. Iolite's very nice. Yes. yes. Just uh, the energy of red, white, and blue. Yes. Uh -huh. Iolite would be very nice for Captain America. Yes. Don't yes. you just it see would, it? It would really, it would help him to, to get more in touch with his, his <clears throat> inner self because he's very out there kind of a person. He is. Yeah. And yeah. he could use that. He already has that red, that fire. And isn't that what you think about when you go to the movies, what crystals would work well for the characters? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's what we do. <laughs> yes. So we really hope that you've enjoyed this kind of special edition of the, of the videos that we do for crystals. And um, if you do like us, let us know, and we'll do more like this. So for HillyCrystals.com, I'm Tara. And I'm Lourdes. And uh, Crystal hope Blessings. You, hope you have fun at the movies. <laughs> crystal Blessings and have fun at the movies. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>